Okay, this video is food and health, the roles of international organizations in combating food insecurity and disease. So we're going to go through each organization and like give an overview. So first of all, the World Food Program, Backgrounds and Goals, founded in 1961 by the UN. The World Food, the uh, WFP's efforts focus on emergency assistance, relief and rehabilitation, development aid and special operations. Two thirds of their work is in conflict affected areas where people are three times more likely to be undernourished than those living in countries without conflict. World Food Program is the food aid arm of the UN and food aid is one of the many instruments that can help promote food security which is defined as access of all people at all times to the food needed for an active and healthy life. Projects include Syrian refugees and Iraq in 2020. Evaluation is it, it can be difficult to find funding, making food supply consistent at times. Nevertheless, they're extremely beneficial in assisting 86.7 million people in 84 countries annually. USAID background and aims it from its website, it says it leads international vet development and humanitarian efforts to save lives, reduce poverty, strengthen democratic governance, and help people progress beyond assistance. Projects, UN, oops, Yemen Systems, um, health, health and Resilience Project, and USAID Advancing Nutrition Project. Issues, supply chains can be difficult, location limitations, and it can be quite costly as well. Um, food and Agriculture Organization of the UN, so the background and aims, the Food and Agriculture Organization is a specialized agency of the UN that leads to international leads international efforts to defeat hunger. From their website, their goal is to achieve food security for all and make sure that people have regular access to enough high quality food to live active and healthy lives. With over 194 member states, FAO works in over 100 30 countries worldwide and they believe that everyone can play a part in ending hunger. Projects are the Central Asian Land Management Program and the Brazilian Cooperation Program. The World Health Organization, so the objective is attainment of all peoples by of the highest possible level of health, so physical, mental and social well-being and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. Projects are strengthening Mozambique's health system in terms of climate change resilience and delivering climate resilient water and sanitation in Asia and Africa. Okay, then we have Oxfam. So the goals of Oxfam from the website are to help people claim a right to a better life, champion equal rights for women, save lives now and in the future, safeguard global food supplies, help people claim a fair share of natural resources and increase money for basic services. Projects in involving like food supply, as that is one of their goals, is the Yemen and Syria humanitarian responses that they've done. Um, Doctors Without Borders, so the goals is, okay, so it's basically an international independent medical humanitarian organization that delivers emergency aid to people affected by armed conflicts, epidemics, pandemics, natural disasters, and exclusion from healthcare. They offer assistance to people based on need and irrespective of race, religion, gender, or political affiliation. So it's like, very non-discriminative so from their website they provide medical care to help people survive catastrophic situations where communities and health structures may be overwhelmed our core work their core work is providing emergency medical assistance in situations of armed conflict so examples of their projects have been the haiti emergency response and mobile projects such as when a mobile team traveled through the Central Central African Republic in 2012, over 18 days in one city, they screened 4,534 people for sleeping sickness. Finally, we have Save the Children. So Save the Children, so its mission is to fight for children's rights with immediate and lasting improvement to children's lives worldwide. The organization persuades governments and others who are responsible to do the right thing by them. It seeks out the most marginalized children wherever they are in the world so that means they work in a really broad range of countries from fragile states like Afghanistan to developed countries like the UK. Projects they've done are the Yemen Humanitarian Crisis Project and the Rohingya Refugee Crisis as well.